Today, we're gonna talk about gay sex, the homo sex lifestyle. And I'm gonna open up a little bit. It's a hope that it encourages you to make better decisions. So, let's go back in time. When I was 17 and I had that picture from prom, <laughs> they would get all the guys into AOL and I'd be chatting, I'd be like, ooh, hello, how are you? Sexy, sexy stuff. And they would come over and I would have sex with them. And I've had sex with quite a few people. <laughs> yeah. And the whole time, I think that it's almost like you have a beautiful statue. You have this perfected element of humanity. And you just, the darkness within you just goes, you know what? <laughs> Not nice. And you start, you start chipping away. You start chipping away at that perfected element of who you are when you start giving your way yourself free. And I think that at the end of the day, you're left with this just pile of dust, you know, that has no context and no real form that just kind of sways to whatever the wind may go to. And in a lot of ways, do I still feel like that? I think in a lot of ways I do. I think when you give yourself away like that to people, I think that sex is the most important thing that you can do with another human being. It really is. Uh, when I was in high school, <laughs> there was these two people that came and they were talking about how if you put two woods together and you glue them and then you pr let them dry and you pry it apart, they're each going to have splinters of each other and they're going to be like different. And uh, <laughs> at the time I was like, yeah, whatever. But there's a truth to that. I think that when you sleep with somebody, you leave part of yourself with that person. And they leave part of themselves with you. <coughs> you know? And it's, um, it's, it's your n most nakedness. I mean, you're literally naked most of the time. <laughs> and you're, first there's that element of the acceptance of your pure self and your nakedness. And then the element of touching somebody and, and feeling those feelings of desire, you know, for that other person and having those things happen. And um, I think in society, we don't have that conversation. We don't sit down and tell children, hey, there's like a bunch of older men that find you attractive that will try to take that energy that you have for themselves because they never had it or they didn't nurture it. It becomes a cycle, I think, for some people that don't recognize it. I think it becomes a cycle of, I lost my childhood, so I'm going to date someone younger, you know? Um, not to the child element, but, you know, it just that gay, dark element that does exist, that brings itself about in the media that makes a bunch of other gays look bad. That's just the truth, you know. The truth of these, um, I don't know what term, you know, cougars, <laughs> panthers, I don't know, gray panthers, whatever you would call them, that go after these young men, um, you know, in their 20s. Um, and in the media, in Hollywood, it happens. It happened to me. I know friends that it's happened to. But that's a whole, you know, there's so many. And then the sexuality of homosexuality. It's like, damn, like penis everywhere. You go on a dating site, right? And, of course, there's most gay dating sites are pretty safe, pretty tame. But the whole theory of you get two guys together, it's, <laughs> and they're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's some truth to that, and then you include alcohol, and then sometimes for some people drugs, and then they become resistance to the drug. I said, I mean, they become connected to the drugs, and then they have to have the sex with the drugs, and then if the drugs are not, it's just a whole erosion of love. It just becomes this whole erosion of love, and if you don't have that compass, that feeling, that sense, you know that understanding and you're like I want things to be better not just for myself but for everyone I don't want little homos <laughs> to go around crying and wanting to kill themselves because you know they feel outcasted within the outside community and within their own community you know the homo community can be a horrible <laughs> community it can <laughs> you know as every community can there's some positive and good elements out of it um but when such attention is driven towards sex, I think there is an erosion of humanity.
Uh, I remember when, you know, Will and Grace came out, you know, all those kind of shows. And there was a relationship beyond the sex. And now as we move forward, I feel it lacking. I mean, I know that we have Will and Grace again, but we feel it lacking. So it must be up to us to move forward and make that example and, and radiate that element of love by making positive choices. Does the desire to be with another human being manifest itself in the circumstances that you're in? Of course. Of course. But they have plastic devices for that. And trust me, the plastic devices will do much better to you than, you know what I mean, someone else that will go away. The plastic device doesn't go away. I'm not saying I use plastic devices. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation has gone to somewhere, you know, but it's an open conversation about humanity and sharing yourself with another human being. Um, some of you know my thoughts about masturbation and, uh, you know, all those kind of things. Better to do it with somebody else and that you better have it be with love. Don't just go for anyone. But if you're going to do it with somebody, better do it by yourself. <laughs> and think about someone that you love because if you're with somebody that's like sealing the deal you know what I mean so you better do it by yourself and imagine Jake Gyllenhaal or whoever's in your brain right now not that Jake Gyllenhaal is in my brain I'm just saying that out of all the non-homos maybe homos who knows uh, people that that might be one of the people that you think about or someone that you care about, you know? Now, there's some magical elements to that and attracting that person. You might bump into Jake Gyllenhaal at the grocery store with his girlfriend, and you might be like, ah, that might be awkward. But then that's getting into a whole different element of magic and masturbation and sex. <laughs> I've talked too much. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful eternity, and be safe. Be safe with yourself and your love.